Hello everyone, Gain the Shell here to solve the graph 2.0 challenge of the Opshift CTF. So this is a web challenge and if we go to the um, instance there you get a site like that that doesn't seem to be very reactive, nothing works really. You can submit, sorry this functionality is disabled, nothing much happens. So I mean, first thing first, we'll open uh, the dev tools. There is nothing in robots.txt, by the way, so I'm not gonna even show that. If we look at the source, we can see that uh, on the create node that is doing the alert that the functionality is disabled, actually I have some commented old code that is showing some GraphQL query on an endpoint that is slash GraphQL. Okay, so that's interesting. So we'll work with that. So let's uh, go to uh, Postman. So we'll go on the slash GraphQL. And the first thing I'll do is that I'll put this uh, payload that uh, I found on the web that uh, I know about that is to do the introspection query. So it's possible that GraphQL exposes its uh, entire structure um, through the API. Supposedly you don't leave that in production, but let's see if here we get it and we actually do. So what's interesting there? So you have some queries and I'm going to drop to what looks interesting. So we have a query that is for all nodes. We don't really care about the arguments and it returns some node object connection. And then we have a query for all users and it returns some user object connection. And uh, we have some other uh, that I'm not going to look at right now. And so afterwards you have also the description of what is this note object connection, which has a page info and an, an edges, which is a list of note object edge, whatever. I'm not going to go through all the details and show you everything, but basically this is a typical um, paginated kind of structure and we are going to kind of create it. So I'm going to comment all that and keep it so that we can come back to it. And I'm going to do a query and I'm going to try and say all users. And so it has edges and each edge is, is made of node. And then we have a user ID, I believe ID, UID, I think there is a username and let's go like that. Okay. So it worked, I think. Yes. So we see that there are two users pop EAX and admin. This is a, a base64 ID. I already looked at what it is. There is nothing interesting there. So let's go for all nodes. And nodes have an ID and a new ID and they have a title and a body. And so here it's interesting. So you find basically supposedly all the nodes and you find one that is very interesting. Um, that many people thought that it was the answer, but actually it was a reference to another CTF. So this is a false flag basically. So if you browse all these uh, results, there is a lot and people have started to uh, post more. So you have more and more. It's not very interesting. The flag is not there. Uh, so we need to find something else and something a bit more difficult. So let's go back to our introspection payload and see what else we can find. So we are looking for another kind of query. So yeah, I'm telling you, this is not the right one. Uh, where am I? So this is not all nodes. This is not all users. Oh, here. Cool notes is useless. And get note is interesting. Okay. Get note is interesting because it takes a parameter. Okay. So let's try. So it's supposed to return a list of notes. Okay, so let's try to call that. And I want get notes. And let's do no parameter to start with. And then it's a it's a note. It's a list of nodes. So I want IDs, UID title body, and like that. Okay. And it returns nothing. Okay, so let's try with some parameter. So I don't know what it expects, but uh, it expects a string. Uh, I don't know what it should be, but let's put uh, an ID of a node. So one was a valid ID. Okay, we get an error. And hmm, so received incompatible instance 
one graph, whatever. So this looks like a note, right? Like a, a note ID, the title, the body. And this is like the author ID. But visibly, it's not expecting that. I'm guessing it's expecting a list. I frankly don't know how I should use for real get note. Maybe it's not implemented for real and nothing will work and everything will error. But that's not really important. What's interesting is that now I can get some feedback from the server. So, you know what? This is a parameter. Let's do some SQL injection. Or one equal one. And co comment. Okay, so it worked. Look, we are getting all the nodes basically. Interesting. So it, it is getting, uh, you can do SQL injection on this parameter. Okay, so what can you do that is interesting? I don't know anything by heart. So we go to something that is uh, on GitHub. Someone has uh, been maintaining a lot of uh, interesting data and it's called payload all the things. And so there is a section. Uh, there is a section on SQL injection. You can go there. And then we can go in the readme part and there is something about dbms identification so i already know what it is so i'm just going to show you to see that it's sqlite you can just try to call an sqlite specific function so rather than doing or one equal one you can do or sqlite version equal sqlite version and it does exactly the same thing so it doesn't error so that means that you're in sqlite so now that we know that we can go in the sqlite specific injection and you, okay, extract table name. Okay, that sounds interesting. So I want the result of this query. So what we see here is that it's getting objects with four columns. So I'm gonna try and keep it like that. So I'm gonna make sure that this first query does not return anything. And then I'm gonna union with my second query that I want to do. And I'm just gonna return four fields. I don't think I need to care because there are any weight errors, but let's try. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, so we have a single table that is called notes. Oh, no, sorry. There is a table that's called notes, a table that's called users, and a table that's called, hmm, some odd Unicode characters. Uh, Arabic, I'm guessing. Okay, this looks interesting. Okay, so extract column name. So let's run this query now. So we want to up here and table name is this guy. I'm hoping that Unicode just works as is. And if I run it, mm, ah, yeah, I don't have the right number of columns. So no, no, no. okay. Create table, it has an ID and it has a flag. Whoa, that looks good. So. Now we just want to select ID, flag, null and null from this table. Mm, come on. It's selected. Yes. Does that work? Yes. We got the flag. That's it. Thank you. Bye bye.